Welcome to Biology 2 for Pre-Health Science. This is Biology 1022. Uh, most of you already know me, Lauren Finnerty, Dr. Finnerty. I'm going to be the instructor for this course um, this summer. This course is going to be online uh, primarily. There is one component that's going to be in person, we hope. Uh, providing this COVID uh, has backed off by the by August. Uh, I'll talk about that more in a second as I go through the um, syllabus. Okay, so this is the blackboard shell for the, the course, Biology 1022, Pre-Health Biology 2. Um, the course all the lecture material will be done online in the form of YouTube videos that you will watch. Uh, I will try and make them succinct. I break up each of the topics into bite-sized um, videos. Uh, my suggestion is that you don't play them at normal speed, but at 1.25 speed, uh, they'll probably go a little bit better when uh, there's, there'll be fewer pauses that way, or shorter pauses anyways. Um, so announcements will be found on this page. Faculty information, this is me. Same email address as last semester, lauren.finnerty at georgiancollege.ca. Last semester, I made a point of asking you to, when you contact me via email, to do it to this email address and not as a reply to the uh, to the emails that will come from me through Blackboard that are titled the course number, Biology uh, 1022. If you hit reply to that, then it replies to Blackboard, not to me. Your, um, your email will probably get lost in, in the shuffle. Online courses tend to have much more email uh, traffic and therefore it'll be harder for me to keep track of things. It's very easy if you uh, email me directly using my email address. I said this last semester and the vast majority of you uh, took it to heart and did that. But there were notable exceptions where people just tried to contact me by replying to a Blackboard email. Uh, not generally a good idea. Under course information, we will find the, um, the course outline. Now it says W19 because that's when this was, was last reviewed. It is for um, for the summer of 2020. 56 hours covering all the organ systems, skeletal, muscular, nervous, endocrine, cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive, urinary, reproductive, and immune lymphatic systems. Um, fundamentally, that's what this is. It's a systems anatomy course. Um, so let's go back to here. The syllabus is the more important thing. Um, this is the course, Biology 1022. It's 56 hours long. Um, now that 56 hours is not like in class where it's a strict thing where we're doing four hours of class time. It's broken up into 12 weeks uh, with basically one system per week, uh, with the uh, exception that week four and five are cardiovascular system. Now, there will be YouTube videos going through all of the slideshow, all the PowerPoints for the entire system. You're going to listen to them, and that's where the where the lecture material is going to come in. 
every Friday at noon, there will be a WebEx meeting, which will be more of a tutorial. It's going to be your chance of coming and uh, hearing other people's questions, getting your questions answered, uh, and that kind of thing. New material is not going to be presented uh, on those on those WebEx meetings. The meetings will last as long as you want. Uh, if there's two hours of material to cover that, you know, and the, there's that much interaction, then that's how long they'll take. History has shown me that they're probably going to be more like a half an hour a week. Fridays at noon is going to be when the online tests and exam will be. Um, at least as far as uh, as I have planned, this is subject to change. Because uh, we actually have another Thursday night uh, time in the thing. I'm willing to do the test then if, uh, if need be. So I'm not going to go through this, but basically skeletal system joint, chapter 7 will be week 1, muscular system, chapter 8, week 2, etc., etc., down to the final exam, which will be in week 12. Just like last semester, the assignments will be online, uh, multiple choice, unlimited attempts, uh, and... Um, you'll have a week to complete each one. So it's going to be available on the Friday until the following Thursday of week two and week three. These will be the cardiovascular ones. Week four will be the online test. It will be handled the exact same way as the online tests of last semester. It will be available for one hour starting at noon on the Friday of that week. So uh, I'm not 100% certain of the date at this moment. Uh, we'll come to it later on. Test two will be in week eight, final exam in week 12. Now, after the course material, there will be a chance to do the two labs. They're both dissection labs, the dissection of a pig's heart and the dissection of a pig's kidney. Both of them will take write-ups as well. Now, we're hoping that these will be done in person and you will actually do the dissections, probably with Kim Getty being the one that's leading the dissections for all the sections. Um, if the school is not able to open because of still COVID, uh, then what will happen is you'll watch videos of those dissections with myself or Kim or both doing them, uh, and then you will hand in the lab reports based on the data that you will observe in the videos. Again, this remains to be seen. It's subject to change depending on uh, the state of of the opening of the province at that point. The course description is here. I've already gone over it. It's the same textbook as last semester. Uh, the custom pre-health biology pathways to advanced diplomas by McGraw-Hill. It's really, the, for this course, all of the chapters are from the holes book. So if you have holes instead, then that's good. Now, one of the things about an online course is academic integrity. We are going to be very aware of academic integrity as a core value and a priority. Um, we are going to be uh, looking for you to demonstrate behavior that's honest and ethical. This is in your own best interest. Having a thorough grasp of the material is much more advantageous than a couple of extra marks that you're going to get uh, by being academically less honest. Uh, the tests are going to roll out actually 
one question at a time with no backtracking in order to maintain that. And it's going to be coming out randomly uh, for each um, for each person. So the, the questions will not be in the same order for, for each person. Um, when we have our WebEx meetings, I'm going to expect it to be positive and open learning, learning environment. I want you to come to these things prepared, having watched the videos and, and with questions prepared. Um, collaborate with your peers. The mark breakdown is 60% uh, from tests, so that's 15, 20, 25. Uh, and then it's 40% for the assignments and uh, labs. So the two labs are worth 15 each. Um, and the online multiple choice assignments are worth 10. Uh, now, this 30% of the mark will come after the final exam. The, uh, the rest will be all done online. The test will be done at the time of the test. Uh, please plan to make yourself available during those test times because that's when they're going to be run, just like they were in person. The quizzes are another or the assignments are in. You have a whole week to do it. Um, so available the, the, the Friday of the week indicated until the following Thursday at 11.59. Unlimited attempts. There's all kinds of support. There's the thing of maximizing your grade. If you have special needs, if you have accommodations, please let me know what your accommodations are as soon as possible uh, so that I can set up the extra time or whatever is required um, well in advance. Because you will get the extra time even though it's online. We don't have to worry about emergencies or lockdowns, um, or for that matter, the college closing. So that's really it for the um, for the syllabus. In weekly learning, it's each week we'll have the uh, what's covered that week. So week one, skeletal terminology, week two, chapter eight, muscular, week three, chapter 14, immune, etc. Just like before, there will be the PowerPoints here for you to print and, and do what you will with. And then there's going to be links to YouTube videos here. Uh, I have yet to record most of the YouTube videos, so this will populate as the course goes along. Um, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to work that far ahead because I'll be recording them almost in real time. You'll find the quizzes and assignments here. Uh, so assignment one through five will be here they will be available on the appropriate dates uh, again i will populate that as uh, as it comes close the webex is how you get to my webex room uh, please download the webex app well in advance and uh, and my room is lauren.finnerty um, just like my email address Fridays at noon, uh, I will be there. And also, I will meet people online on WebEx anytime they want by, by prearranging it. Uh, 
So send me an email. We'll figure out a time and that we can get together online. I'll answer any questions, go over anything, just like, uh, like live office hours. So looking forward to a, another good semester with you guys. Um, look for this, uh, this Blackboard shell to be available soon and uh, and I will be populating the things that are missing as they're developed.